In this video, you'll learn how to navigate the Android Enterprise Essentials portal. Let's get started. When your Essentials account is created by your reseller after purchasing a device with Essentials, you will receive an email. Click Explore the portal to gain access. Let's take a look at your devices. In this view, you can see information about all the devices registered to your account, such as the device name, the IMEI or serial number, the last time it was synced, and the status of the device. Under the Status column, devices will show as Ready to Set Up before they've been turned on by your employee. Devices will show as Active once they have completed the setup process and all the essential security measures are applied. That means passcode and encryption are required, and employees can't turn off Google Play Protect or sideload apps. Last synced shows when the device last communicated with the essential server. If it's been a long time since the last sync, it could suggest that the device is offline. On the far left, you can see the device name. After the reseller adds the device, you can add a friendly name to assist identification by clicking on the three-dot menu and clicking Rename Device. Devices that are cellular-enabled have specific IMEI numbers, or if it's a Wi-Fi-only device, then it will have an associated serial number. You can search for your device by typing in the specific serial or IMEI numbers in the search box. You can also search by the device name as well. Let's go ahead and search for a device by its IMEI number. Now let's click on the device. Here you will see an overview with specific device information and actions you can take. If an employee has forgotten their PIN, you can reset the screen lock, changing the passcode on the physical device. Employees will need to enter the new screen lock to access their phone. If an active device is lost or stolen, you can wipe the device. This automatically resets it back to factory settings, removing all company data. When a device is being retired from company use, you can select Remove Device, which removes the device from the portal and erases the data. To review and make changes to who has admin access to the portal, select Users on the left. This presents a list of owners and administrators. Owners share the same access as admins, but in addition, owners can also manage who has access to the Essentials portal. Let's say a colleague needs admin access. You can add them by clicking on the button titled Add User. Enter the user's Google account associated with their corporate email. Select a corresponding role and then click Add. We have now added a new user to the account. To learn more about how to use Android Enterprise Essentials, visit the Android Enterprise Help Center 